like this. Good noon, brothers and sisters, and welcome to St. Joseph Church. And reminder to everyone, please switch off your mobile phone during the celebration of the Holy Mass. Thank you. Our Mass for today is for offered to our God by the following. Thanksgiving of Maribig Bakuli and family, Jamil Bakuli, Salvation Supida and family, Josephine Racho and family, Sweetie Lee, Luz Lau, Teresa, Arnold, Rafael and Lori family, Rafael Romero and family, Winda Villamo and family, Sister Josie Enson and family, Lady V. Palomo and family, Jessil Bucano and Mainit family, Desus family and Suba family, Remedios Asilom and family. And we also pray for the Birthday of Leo Destrajo, Alfonso Destrajo, Dorin Destrajo, Angelita Villamor, Jose Villamor, Fiona Enson, Grace Lee Llavanes, Velma Llavanes, De Jesus Francia Saba, Ella Vizcara, and Jefferson E. Enchalar. We also pray for the essential intentions of the following, Kamaling Family for the Healing, Rodolfo Kamaling, Galindo Lerma, Gary Contua, Ryan Mark Contua, Alan Kabaling, Vincindas Jerome Cohen Relatives, Ben Francis Garlando for the Healing and Deliverance, Charles Upida, Mario Distrajo for the Healing and Deliverance, Laurentia Lucas for Healing, Ruel for Healing, Virna Nuke, Preciosa Abida Laureta, and for the past recovery of Samuel Makara, Tarseli Ferran, and for the past recovery of Tera Acosta. We also pray for the wedding anniversary of Silver, uh, for the Silver wedding anniversary of Brother Arsenio V. Perez and Sister Andrea M. Perez. And also for the intention of Lucy Guan, KK and Catherine Wong, Yvonne Choi, William and Maluka Lusa, Bautista family, Rocreo family, Lori V. Givanez, Mona and family, Vanji Papilota, and Ami Yavares. And we we'll also pray for the souls of Hermi Valles, Rosendo and Nako, Agaton, Simo, Perla, Victoria and Junisha Destrajo, Amancio Raimundo and Raymond, Luisa Lamberto, Cristina Julian, Vilma Leonardo Gundayao, Jose S. Villamor, Angelita Villamor, Brigado Ulpindo, Alice Cordero, Paz Senosa, Joel Senosa, Early Taman, Marlon Testigo Ramon, Teret. Terato, Melisha Mainet, Vicente Mainet, Agaton Mahumas, Domingo Mahumas, Rufino Palomo, Anilin Palomo, Rex Lozada, Jenny Enson, Tessie Galupe, Apul Dunar, Apul Apulinario Galupe, Candida Lucas, Noime Dijo de Leon, Noel Pitok, James Racho, Juanita Felino, Mirna, Floro, Jeronimo, Gregorio, Isabel, Juan Balares, and Gracia Balares, Julio, Teodoro, Corazon, Romy, Gliseria, Francisco, Irino, Ramon, Bersabe, Luco, Lau, Cocao, Marcos, and Antonio, Anastas, Anastasia, and Ironia. and Rodolfo Batan. My dear brothers and sisters, today is Wednesday, the 24th week in Ordinary Time. Today being the memorial of Our Lady of Sorrows, we honor and cherish our Blessed Mother. Gaze upon the image of the Mother of God today. Let us ask her to reveal her heart to us. 
let us find some time to sit in silent adoration of his holy image of a perfect motherly love. Today our mass presider is Father J. Flandes. This year we celebrate the year of Saint Joseph, patron of the Universal Church. Let us all stand and ask the intercession of Saint Joseph, our patron, our companion, and guide us migrants. Together we pray. O, o glorious Saint, Saint Joseph, Joseph, faithful, faithful follower, follower of Jesus, Jesus Christ, to you do I raise my heart and hands to implore your powerful intercession in obtaining from the kind heart of Jesus all the help and graces necessary for my spiritual and temporal welfare, particularly the grace of a happy death and the special favor I now implore. O glorious Saint Joseph, to the love that you did bear for Jesus Christ, and for the glory of his holy name, thine to hear my prayer and obtain for me my petition. O Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, come to my assistance. Amen. anniversary of Brother Arcidio Perez and Sister Andrea Perez. Also we pray for the soul of Christopher Paquilio and for the healing of John Rafael Bueno, Samantha Flores, Christopher Flores, Jerin Basilion, and Procisa Laurita. Also we pray for the birthday of Ella Viscara, Daina Larian Tavilia, Thanksgiving of Sweetie Lee, Lady Palomo, Emilia Tanyag, Velma Mascariola, Josephine Abalayan, and the souls of Panning Fernandez, Christian Corpus. Let us glorify the Holy Triune God in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today is the memorial of Our Lady of Soros, no? that Mary experienced also Soros that lead to the, uh, also the crucifixion of Jesus. No? That part of our journey as followers of the Lord is also to face and encounter our sorrowful moments. But Jesus promised us after we face our sorrows with God's grace, there will be also glorious moments, our victory. For us to be worthy in this encounter with the Lord, we now prepare our minds, our hearts. We pause for a moment in silence. We humbly acknowledge our sins, our failures, and we ask God's mercy and pardon. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, to pray for me to the Lord our, our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who willed that when your Son was lifted high on the cross, his mother should stand close by and share his suffering, grant that your Church, participating with the Virgin Mary in the Passion of Christ, may merit a share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us all be seated and listen attentively to the Word of God. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. In the days when Christ was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverence. Son, though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And when he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me. Make haste to deliver me. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. You will be free from the snare they set for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. But my trust is in you, O Lord. I say you are my God. In your hands is my destiny. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. How great is your goodness, O Lord, which you have in store for those who fear you, and which, toward those who take refuge in you, you show in the sight of the children of men. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Please all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Beside the cross of the Lord. Spirit. The proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. 
When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please all be seated for the homily. Today is the memorial of Our Lady of Soros. Yesterday, we celebrate also the Feast of the Exaltation of the Cross. No? And the following day, Our Lady of Soros. No? That here, our church, Universal Church, also celebrate the Soros of Mary. No? That Soros part of our journey. That Soros can bring us for our sanctification. Not only that we just... A moment of happiness, no? moment of enjoyment, no? moment of victory. But in our life, it is a reality that we will experience sorrows in life. No? Especially in this time of pandemic, we will hear many stories of sorrow, sadness, no? uh, sickness, loss of loved ones, no? and uh, uh, other uh, situations. No? So Mary also experienced that. Mary he wa she was not exempted, although she was chosen to be the mother of our Savior. But Mary did not even say, Lord, if you chose me, Lord, if you bless me, Lord, exempted. No? I'll be exempted of all problems, Lord. Ha? Exempted ako sa mga lahat ng problema, Lord, because you chose me. But no, in spite of that, Mary just underwent, undergo, no? that like us, no? that she experienced also persecution, and maybe to the point Mary experienced that he, maybe she felt that she was abandoned by God. So there are, in our uh, Catholic tradition, there are seven sorrows of Mary. Okay, the seven sorrows of Mary. In the movie, only one sorrow, that is the mask of sorrow. <laughs> in, in the our tradition, the seven sorrows of Mary. The, the first sorrow, the prophecy of Simeon. Remember when Jesus was presented to the temple and Simeon no, took the child and Simeon said, no, Behold, this child is distant to the fall and rise of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be contradicted and you yourself a sword will pierce into your hearts. No? So that is the first sorrow. Imagine instead to be presentation of the Lord, but now a prophet Simeon told them, this child is distant to the fall of many. No? A prophecy. Okay? It was maybe a sorrowful for Mary because Simeon said, and your a sword will pierce into your heart. No? Somehow, Mary was prepared by Simeon that to be the mother of Jesus, no? to be the mother of our Savior, is not easy. No? And that is a reminder for us that to follow the Lord, it is not easy. It is not only just a moment that, Lord, I'm now immune, Lord, huh? because I follow you, I attend Mass, I will be immune from all problems. But no, the more we follow the Lord, there will be many trials, challenges. I remember a story of our kababayan. You know, before, huh? before she did not attend, you know, even attend Mass. No? And when she attended Mass, there was a conversion, change of heart. And said, you know, Father, the more I attend Mass, the more I have problem. Before I do not attend Mass, no problem. <laughs> oh. But I told, told, you know, sometimes the more we become closer to the Lord, there will be discouragement. You know? Satan use people or even situation to discourage us to stop following the Lord. So what like Mary, there was sorrow, but Mary never give up in following the Lord. Mary was obedient to the will of the Father. So whatever sorrows, if experience problem, discouragement in life, no, do not give up. No? Sometimes those are trials. But remember, just like Mary, if we are faithful to the Lord, if we follow the Lord, we will become victorious. No? And second also, the first sorrow, the prophecy of Simeon, the second was the flight to Egypt. Remember, King Herod, wanted to destroy the child. That's why the angel told Joseph, flee, go to 
What's the place that they have to uh, to go? Huh? Hong Kong. <laughs> they have to go to Egypt. Remember that? Because Herod wanted to destroy the child. And they have to flee to Egypt. Again, another place, another culture, another people. Difficult. And it was sorrowful. Maybe they were so lonely. No, no people to talk. And maybe they have to survive. No relatives. It was a sorrowful moment. No? Like, like us, maybe for us, migrants coming here no, at, at Maybe during the first time we arrive here, maybe we do not have friends, no? And you know, the language, people, no? And sometimes the culture different from our culture. No? And maybe they were so, we miss our family. Maybe for months, we cry, no? First time here in Hong Kong, and during Christmas, I was alone, no? Of course, Christmas in the Philippines, celebration, no? But here, because I was studying the language, I was there alone in the chapel, no? And I just cry, no? Oh. But that's part of our sorrows. I'm sure you experience that also, no? That coming here, uh, you know, we don't have friends, no? And that is why I remember one of our Kababayan, you know, Father, every time I go during my day off, no? I don't have friends, but I just go to the church, and I feel I'm at home. No? I feel I'm at home, no? And it is our home. No? We were baptized, no? In the church, no? And so, that is the second sorrows of Mary, the fly to Egypt. Third, the loss of the child Jesus in the temple. Remember, when Jesus was there in the temple, and the Mary and Joseph, they have to go back. Mary was maybe so, so stressed, no? uh, what happened to, to, to Jesus, the child. No? There was that losing, you know. And uh, a beautiful reflection for this, that Jesus was lost, but Mary they were, and Joseph, maybe they were looking in, maybe in the playground. No? But where did they found Jesus? In the temple. Maybe Mary and Joseph, come, let us go to the temple, let us go to the church and pray so that our problems will be solved. When they go to the temple, their problem was solved because they found Jesus. And that is a reminder for us that if we are lost, then we have to go to, to the church. And we just have to pray and the Lord will guide us will enlighten us no will uh, give us the wisdom on how to face whatever trials in life the fourth one Mary's meeting Jesus on the way to Calvary remember when Jesus was carrying the cross and it was painful for a mother remember he she saw her son Jesus carrying the cross no? and the Roman soldiers were you know weeping cords no and it was painful no so that is the fourth one no? seeing a mother no that the son was punished carrying the cross no? and the fifth one the crucifixion of Jesus on Mount Calvary no that he was crucified no? and the, the number six Jesus is taken down from the cross no number seven the burial of Jesus so these are the According to our Catholic tra tradition, the seven sorrows of Mary. So Mary also underwent this sorrow. No? And Mary, in spite of all these sorrows, Mary was obedient to the Father. No? Mary did not abandon her mission in spite of all the sorrows. And that is a reminder again for us, no? as followers of Jesus, no? as migrants, in spite of all trials in our work, in our family, we should ne never abandon our faith. The more we have to hold on to Jesus because Jesus will bring us to our victory. Okay? So if you listen to the uh, first reading, here it says, Son, though he was, he learned obedience, what he suffered. No? He learned obedience, what he suffered. He did not give up. That in spite of all those sufferings of Jesus, it was he learned obedience because this is the will of the Father. That's why even our sorrows, if we offer it to the Lord, it will sanctify us. Our sorrows can be our praise, our worship. After the Mass, we do praise and worship, right? Maybe we worship the Lord by our lips, no? But when we experience sorrows, problems, trials, when we offer it to the Lord, 
it is a form of worship that in spite of all the sorrows, we continue to become obedience to the Father. No? So like Mary, that's why Mary uh, obeyed to the will of the Father. So in this Mass, we ask also the intercession of our Blessed Virgin Mary. No? All of us, we have our uh, problems or maybe sorrows in life. But remember, our sorrows can bring us to our sanctification, that our cross will bring us to our salvation. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us call God our Father to listen to our petitions. Almighty God, thank you for giving us Mary, who surrendered her life to you so that she can participate for our salvation. Listen now our prayers as we present these to you, as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the church that may continue to be an instrument of compassion and love, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for mothers that they may persevere in the vocation to shepherd the children that God entrusted to them, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for the leaders of the world that, like Mary, they may learn the value of suffering and sacrifice for the sake of the common good, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all OFWs, migrants and refugees, that in spite of all their difficulties, they may not give up in following and serving the Lord, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all institutions who take care of abundant children. May they be rewarded of their generosity and of their unconditional service, we pray. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for our country, that as we celebrate 500 years of Christianity, we may fashion it in sharing our faith and love to others, we pray. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, we present to the Lord our personal needs. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, you strengthened Mary even at the foot of the cross. Grant us the grace that like Mary, we may be faithful to our Catholic faith. All this we pray through Christ our Lord, together with the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the offertory.
mother, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O merciful God, to the praise of your name, the prayers and sacrificial offerings which we bring to you as we venerate the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you graciously gave to us as a most devoted mother when she stood by the cross of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is only right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from me for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The misery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Cardinal John Tong, our Apostolic Administrator, Stephen, our Bishop-elect, all bishops, clergy, religious, and all missionaries. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. To the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. As one family of God, let us offer each other the sign of God's peace. Peace with you, peace brothers with you. and sisters. of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Rejoice when you share in the sufferings of Christ, that you may also rejoice exultantly when His glory is revealed.
Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of eternal redemption, we humbly ask, O Lord, that honoring how the Blessed Virgin Mary suffered with her Son, we may complete in ourselves for the Church's sake what is lacking in the sufferings of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray the prayer for deliverance from the pandemic. O oh God, oh God, you are the source of all goodness. We come to you to invoke your mercy. You have created the universe with harmony and beauty. Yet through our pride, we have disrupted the course of nature and brought about an ecological crisis which affect our health and the well-being of the human family. For this, we ask for your forgiveness. O oh God, look with pity on our plight, for we are in the midst of a new viral pandemic. May we experience again your fatherly care, restore order and harmony to nature, and recreate a new mind and heart in us, that we may look after our earth like a faithful steward. O oh God, we entrust to you all the sick and their families, May you bring healing to their body, mind, and spirit, enabling them to partake of the Paschal mystery of your Son. Help all members of our society to play their proper roles and strengthen the spirit of solidarity among them. Sustain our frontline medical and healthcare workers, social workers, and educators. Come especially to the aid of those in need of resources to safeguard their health. We believe that it is you who direct the course of human history and that your love can change our destiny for the better, whatever might be our human condition. Grant us steadfast faith to all Christians that even in the midst of fears and chaos, they may carry out the mission you have entrusted to them. O oh God, bless our human family abundantly, and dispel from us all evil. Deliver us from the pandemic that is afflicting us, so that we may praise and thank you with renewed hearts. For you are the author of life, and with your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in unity of the Holy Spirit, you live and reign, one God forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for the Holy Souls. Eternal Father, I offer you the most precious body and blood of your divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses set throughout the world today, for all the souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, for those in my own home and in my family. Amen. Announcement from the parish. There will be a special program on Wednesday, September 22, which is a public holiday. Sir Eugenia Lito will give a talk on life of St. Joseph, gifted to care. Holy Mass will be celebrated at 12 noon. Please refer to the poster for details. The new Cantonese at the Putunga Kadidism class for adults will commence on October 6. For details, please refer to the poster or pick up a promotion card by the Garden Road entrance. And the classes at St. Joseph's Sunday School for the school term 2021-2020 has already started. Registration of new students born on or before uh, 2015 is still open. Application form can be obtained from the parish office. And then we have El Shaddai community. You're all invited to attend a prayer meeting right after this Mass. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down your heads for God's blessing. May God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with his blessing. Amen. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her, through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life.
Amen. May you who have devoutly gathered on this day carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Let us go and participate in building God's kingdom here on earth. Thanks be to God. Salamat sa Diyos. Ayan, purihin po natin ating Panginoon.